For us to say goodbye to you here. Great weather on a Friday night football night. And here's Joe Go George Vogel with tonight's Blitz 5. <laughs> Ah, whoever that guy is, week nine of high school football, and things are getting serious, believe it or not. Welcome to the Friday Night Blitz, a night where the playoff picture starts to take serious shape. Lakota East and Sycamore both began the night with high playoff hopes, and the winner of this one would have the inside track on a postseason spot. Elise Jesse has the story of this big game from Sycamore Stadium. It was senior night here in Aves country and head coach Scott Tatillo was looking for a big coaching milestone. Pick it up in the third quarter. Sycamore had a 27 to nothing lead on East. Drew Altamuli hands the ball off to fellow sophomore Jordan McConnell, who seems like a veteran running the ball in for a touchdown. The Aves go up quickly, 34 nothing. He's trying to avoid a shutout. Dylan Fry hands it off to Jeff Garcia. Garcia then fumbles the ball. Linebacker Johnny Bofin recovers for the touchdown as Sycamore wins it 40-13 to for Scott Dottillo's 100th win in his coaching career. Honestly, you know, 100 wins just means you coached a long time. Uh, you know, I'm just excited that we got a win tonight. I'm proud of the, proud of the guys. I was telling them in the locker room before the game started how special they've been. You know, in the past 16 games, we've... You know, we've won 15 of them, and, and, and you know, I'm just super proud of them. It, I can't even describe it. We're, the, the feeling that's going through our heads right now, we just have to complete the next game. It's Princeton at Princeton for their senior night. I know they're going to be ready to play. Um, but after that, it's, it's, full, it's full go. Now, this looked like a total blowout, but this score was a bit deceiving. Lakota East had seven starting defenders who were not on the field tonight, either due to injuries or undisclosed reasons. From Sycamore High School, Elise Jesse, WLWT News 5 Sports.